So my speech will be about our life. And the thing is that I've been traveling really a lot for the past few months. And I had a chance to meet really a lot of people. And they made me think about some facts that we actually like ignore in our life. And I didn't want to make like bullets that you should follow and then your life will be uh, really successful and you'll be the happiest person in the world because it doesn't work so. Um, but I understood some simple facts and I just want you to understand them and maybe it will help you in your future. So the first thing I want to talk with you uh, is that actually we shouldn't trust anybody and we, should, we shouldn't even lean on our closest people. So let me explain it. Okay, well, it might seem really rough for me uh, that I tell like really, really raw things, but it's simply so. Well, I had one situation that proved this fact. Uh, so I was, uh, this year I moved to Moscow and um, I, I, I had to find an apartment because, well, uh, I couldn't live in the dorms, so. Uh, and the thing is that my mother, who truly loves me, and I really love her back, um, she told me that, don't worry, I'll find a flat, and uh, just, that just take your time, enjoy your life, and go to vacation, and then you just uh, go back, and we will move, and it's all gonna be fine. So, I believed. And uh, I had a wonderful time during my summer. Uh, and then I went back from my vacation, uh, and I understood that I don't have a flat. Uh, in one month, I have my studies begin. And I just simply don't know what should I do, because all my friends that told me that, I, that they will truly help me to find an apartment, they just simply didn't. And my mother, she, when I asked her, why didn't you find it? She just told me that she simply forgot about this thing. And the thing is that we should understand that actually we should solve our problems on our own. And even our closest people, sometimes they, they simply can forget about it because they have so many problems that they should uh, solve on their own. Uh, the next thing is that we don't want to make our own decisions because it's really easy when somebody just makes decisions for you. For instance, many of our parents, they wanted us, for instance, uh, as it was with me, they wanted me to go to economics. And I was thinking about this idea and I worked really hard to study maths, to study economics. But then I just understood that it doesn't make me happy. And of course, when I told my parents that, okay, well, anymore, I won't be doing maths and economics, they were really, really angry. But then they just understood that this is not that I'm good at, and it doesn't make me happy. So they, they just accepted the fact that I want to be a journalist. Um, and I know that many of you, they, uh, they, they also have a really huge impact from their parents. But you should just simply understand what you really want in your life and follow it. So the next factor that I, I understood during, the, uh, during my meetings with uh, so many people is that we don't want to decide in which relationship are we with people. So, uh, because we are afraid of asking questions and uh, talking to other people about our relationship with them, uh, we simply just make ourselves in a, in a very specific state so that, for instance, uh, I, have, I know one couple uh, who, they, they have been dating like for one, mo uh, one year and a half and they didn't know that they were dating because like, they, they, they didn't understood, well, some, uh, the girl thought that, oh yeah, like, we're in a relationship, and the guy thought, like, that they're not. And so, <laughs> yeah, uh, but, 
Yeah. Well, and, and, and then it was like bad because the guy thought that, that now, okay, he's dating with this girl, uh, and the girl thought that they don't. So, <laughs> uh, and it lasted for one, one, one year and a half, and then, okay, well, I, I, I made them talk, and they decided to be together, so things go. Um, <laughs> Let's talk. Yeah, yeah, it's actually so. So, one, one more thing that really re reacts in our um, life is that our reaction on different situations, our attitude to these situations, also influences much in our life. For instance, if we have something really bad happen in our life, of course it's easier to go home, lie on the bed, eating ice cream, watching films and doing nothing. Uh, and sometimes we all have like this weird periods in our life when we simply just don't want to make anything. But the truth is, it also might influence on us uh, and on our future. And if we decide, if we make our attitude in a different way, not like in a super positive that, oh my God, in my life, it's go, uh, all going to be super fine. Of course it won't, because we, we all will have hard situations that we will have to go through. Uh, but our attitude really influences on us, and that's a simple truth. Um, I know that many people uh, talk about fatalism, and they truly believe that there, there's only one road that, 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 that was predicted uh, for them for like since their birth. But it's not so. Our fatality depends on our actions, and uh, we can choose by our actions and decisions which exact way of our fatality we should go. So, I know that nowadays it is very, very popular uh, to say that, oh, I'm just living with, with a flow, so, no, this is not the right thing to do, because the flow, it's a state, it's not a lifestyle. Uh, and, it, the, and it was also written by Mikhail Csikszentmihalyi, the book which, which is called The Flow. Uh, the, the, that the flow is not when you simply don't want to do anything and you think that, that oh, okay, all these problems, they, they will be solved on their own. It's not so. Uh, he explains that it's a state when you just simply forgot about time and you're so into something. That, that you just don't care about it. Uh, and actually, that's it that I wanted to share with you, because I, I just want you to, to remember that the life that you have now is actually the result of your actions and decisions. And in your future, you can change it. Uh, just enjoy it and control it. Thank you. <laughs>